Why do you care what another man rates your face? Are you trying to get with men? Walks up to some girl, hello lady. Waffles rated me a 5.75 out of 10, which is above average. So now we must talk. It's like, that doesn't mean anything, bro. Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. And we have a reaction video today. Now, some of you guys are going to be like, oh, I thought this was a fitness channel. Guys, I don't know what it is about the small side of, like, YouTube fitness, but some of these guys seem to want to be told the same training advice, like, every single day of their life. It's like progressive overload, compound lifts, eat more. You guys want to be told this every time you come on YouTube? It's very weird to me. I like to diversify the content here to a degree. And we're going to talk about somebody today who's gotten pretty big on YouTube over the past number of months. I'm not very familiar with the content, but this channel is called Wheat Waffles. I don't think the guy shows his face. He just uses this avatar and does voiceovers. But you're going to see here, this is another one of these, I guess you could call it black pill channels. And to their credit for all these black pill guys, they're really kicking the red pill out of the door here. Okay, a lot of this red pill stuff, guys, maybe it's just run its course. I used to watch a fair amount of it, but it's gotten pretty mundane and redundant. So if nothing else, this new black pill wave is pretty interesting. And especially for this younger generation, since they've had social media in their hand the entire time, it's pretty unavoidable for them. But without further ado, let's react to this video. It is called Brutal, with two asterisks. Three things will happen if your girlfriend thinks this, and the thumbnail says... Confession, my BF is ugly. Okay, so we're starting off with a TikTok here. I made an old video, guys. It's called All Young Men Need to Watch This Video. It's kind of in the same vein as this here. These women, I guess to their credit, maybe to their detriment, they're not really hiding this at this point. And it's past the point of simply being a joke. Because everyone writes it off, oh, they're joking, it's a meme, it's a joke. It's like, not anymore, this is not. Like, there are far too many accounts, far too many examples. This is pretty widespread. So like I said a minute ago, for a lot of these younger dudes, they're seeing this in real time. You can't just men in black pen flash this out of their heads. All right, like they're living this in their own lives. I want to see what the waffle has to say. If you're a guy... You've probably heard this phrase at some point in your life. Looks only get your foot in the door, but it is personality that makes a relationship last. Is this guy using PowerPoint in 2022? It's said that for any interaction with a girl, the first five seconds is pure black pill, meaning 100% looks. Yeah. Then the next five days transitions to red pill being dominant meaning being able to use game, make advances, set updates, and so on. Finally, anything after that is blue pill. In other words, when the real romantic stuff can start happening. Bro, these guys are out here making graphs and charts. Like, this is how bad the dating game is now. Man, this is bad, dude. This theory is what's widely agreed upon within this community. However, in this video, I'm going to present and explain a completely different point of view. I don't know what exactly he means by this community. The game thing still has some life to it, and I understand game from like a social skill perspective. I think looks is pretty important for the entire time. Like if you just become a total pushover, especially if you let yourself go, yeah, I mean, this is not going to work out very well for you. This is the perspective I'm going to be presenting a much stronger emphasis on the importance of looks even later into the relationship. Oh, well, there we go. I think it's clear. The importance of looks never goes away. The black pill is always there. Once again, yeah, largely agree. Um, if you just completely let yourself go, this is for men or women, by the way. There's plenty of guys who talk about how their women have kids and then they just balloon up and they never really get back in better shape. You guys probably know a lot of dudes too who are lean in their 20s and in their 30s, they get married. They work all the time, no exercise, they get a big beer gut, right? So I think it goes both ways. I've personally been in two relationships in my life. One of my biggest fears, if not the biggest, has always been if she gets approached or hit on when we're both out together. And no, this isn't stemming from a personal insecurity of mine or me wanting to be overly protective. Uh, 
Yeah, it is a personal insecurity, dude. You just called it your biggest fear. Uh, insecurity fundamentally stems from fear, at least in this context. It's a lot more nuanced than that. So we're kind of starting off here with a relatively big cope, I would say. Um, I'm worried about my woman getting approached or hit on when we're out, but it's not an insecurity. Then what is it? If my girlfriend gets hit on when I'm out with her, it means two things must have happened. One, the guy approaching has looked at my girlfriend and found her attractive enough to hit on. Checks out. And two, which is the more concerning point, somewhere along the lines, he's also looked at me and thought to himself, wow. No way is that guy with this gorgeous girl. Uh, I don't think so, bro. That is not a guaranteed thing that he's thinking. If I approached her, I'd easily have a good chance of getting her to choose me over him. Some guys might think that. A lot of the guys that do that are desperate and thirsty. That's what a lot of PUA guys do, right? They go to the bar or the mall or the club and their coach tells them, hey, engage the group and all this stuff. Really, that's what thirsty guys do, right? They violate social norms as in just walking up and abrasively trying to hit on a chick who's with a guy. This hit me like a truck because at the time, my girlfriend literally told the man prior that I was her boyfriend. Yet still, he made his advance by the end of the night. Thankfully, nothing bad happened and my girl chalked him off. They might be arrogant to an extent, but a lot of them know that they have little to no chance. Any guy who approaches women can tell you there's a very low success rate. This only ever happened to me once ever in two years of relationships. Happened to you once. This has happened to you one single time and you're going to make a lecture on it. If this has only happened to you once in two years of relationships, bro... <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you probably weren't with very attractive women. Okay, anybody who's actually been out with cute girls, this is not normal, I would say, but men are absolutely going to hit on your chick. Like I said, a lot of the time it's desperate dudes with nothing to lose, okay? Guys, I've been in places with girls, you know, bars, the gym, whatever. You walk into the place and you can see heads turn. Men and women both, like necks cranking to look at the chick. Right, if you're out with a genuinely attractive woman, you're gonna get a lot of attention. That's how it is, right? So if this has happened to him one time in two years, uh, I don't think that's something you would wanna admit in this video, dude. Just think for a second, if you're a guy and this happened to you regularly, once a month, say. Well, if it happens to you regularly, like I just said, you probably spend a lot of time with cute women. There's almost no doubt she'll eventually start thinking exactly this. Why am I constantly getting hit on by all these guys when my boyfriend is right next to me? Uh, probably because men are thirsty, like I just said, which women already know. Do they not think we look like an equal matched couple? Oh, come on, bro. Dude, women know as soon as they meet you what you are on the looks threshold. Maybe she thinks you're really cute, you know, maybe on the same level as her, maybe slightly above. A lot of them are gonna see the guy and say, okay, he's a couple rungs below me, but that's fine because they like to be the center of attention in the relationship. Women know within seconds of seeing you where you stand on the attraction scale. So the idea that you're gonna be out with a woman right? And she's going to get hit on by some dudes and she's going to suddenly be like, are we not an equal looks match? She knows that as soon as she meets you, bro. For every instance this happens over the course of a relationship, we'll only put more strain and pressure on the guy. We'll both sense deep down that the woman is viewed as a higher valued option. Women innately have higher social value than any guy. Maybe Sans a celebrity or an athlete or a rapper. There are dudes who are very handsome guys. Okay, like I said, their girl will still get hit on. That's really a badge of honor and a compliment. Okay, if you're out with your girl, or just a girl in general, and guys are coming up hitting on her, that essentially puts you at the top of the hierarchy. Guys are competing for the girl's attention, even though she's with you. I'll give you a quick story about this, okay? This was my senior year of college. Me and my boy went out to the bar to meet up with these two girls. And my friend got extremely drunk in like an hour's time. He was clocked out for the night. So I'm with these two girls by myself. So we spend some time at the bar and then you know how girls are when they're drunk. They're like, let's go to Wendy's and get drunk food. I'm like, okay, whatever. Oh, Wendy! We leave the bar. We're walking down the street to the Wendy's. One girl is on my left side. One girl is on my right side, arm in arm. So we're walking to the Wendy's and then over the horizon appears the pack of young guys. 
I think Louis C.K., the comedian, has a joke. He called it, like, the roaming pack of young, horny dudes or something. It was exactly that. Probably a bunch of freshmen or sophomores, probably six to eight of them in one pack. You know, they're, like, marching down the street. We're walking here. They're coming this way. So I'm walking here with the girls, and then I guess the leader of their group kind of stops the one chick. So there's a taller chick here, and then a shorter girl here, right? He stops the tall girl. He said something pretty slick to his credit. He's like, hey, I see you're with him, but you were looking at me. And you can see I was friends in the back, like all giddy, like, come on, bro, we're gonna get one, right? Like they're gonna share her or something like that. She was pretty wasted too, so she kind of was just like, kind of dazed. I didn't say anything. So he says that, there's kind of this little dead pause time. I look at her, I look at the dude, and then we kind of just stand there for a second. Because again, guys, if you're scared to lose a woman, that's the biggest issue. Like if you're like, oh, I can't lose her. If you get all defensive or something, yeah, that's not going to look good for you. You could also say something just quick like, yo, what's up, man? Just keep it really casual. And then this girl over here, the shorter girl, because they were roommates, she was like, um, I think we're good here. All right. And then we just went on our way. And you could kind of see out of the corner of my eye, they were all like, you know, disheveled and stuff. But it was that simple, right? He did exactly what's in this scenario. And she didn't really keep looking at him or anything. We just went on our way to the Wendy's, got food, went back to their place, whatever. You see what I mean? But this is something that is going to happen, guys, like I said. So men are going to challenge you if you're out with hot women. Any guy in a position where it's happening on a monthly or weekly basis must be getting nightmares every night as he's questioning to himself, what on earth must be keeping her interested? Um, I wouldn't go as far as to say nightmares. And once again, dude, if you have to question why she's interested in you, it's probably already done, man. It's from the General Social Survey and tracks how often married couples have intimacy by their age category. As you can see, there is a clear trend where the older the couple is, the less intimacy they have. Is that surprising? Here's a complete list of all other possible factors that may be jointly contributing. For example, a man's testosterone decreasing with age. Okay, he's going over very basic information here. The older you get, you're going to start to lose your looks. Libido loss. Okay, let's fast forward a bit here. You'll see women posting threads like these about how their relationship is falling apart for the sole reason that their current boyfriends has put on weight. Yeah, that's gonna happen if you get fat, yeah. This instance is more common than you'd think, and for two reasons. On the physical side, a lot of relationship activities, like ordering takeaways, watching movies and TV, drinking alcohol. Well, yeah, lifestyle factors determine your body composition to a good degree, that's correct. Both the man and woman become content in their relationships and think it's their time to relax. Also, although these factors may affect both the man and the woman in the relationship, in my opinion, it will likely affect the man more. Well, yeah, like we were talking about, I'm sure he would agree with this, women have way more suitors in general. An average mid-tier woman, like a straight five, has more options than most men at this point who are nines. All right, that's simply how it is. Women are just a more in-demand commodity. And also, too, men generally have a much larger range that they would go after. From my experience, your attractiveness as a man is far more sensitive to body fat fluctuations than it is for women. Oh man, you remember Josh Peck back in the uh, Drake and Josh days? Yeah, he was chonk. Now, some of you might be thinking, it's a man's own fault for gaining weight. He should be in control of this to keep his girlfriend. Yeah. On the contrary, this point about fading looks isn't just limited to weight gain. Here I found near identical posts. The only difference this time is that it was for the man losing his hair. Okay, he kind of just skimmed over that point. He's like, you might think it's the men's fault for gaining weight. It's like, yeah, you can expect some level of more fat gain as you get older, guys. But again, if you eat well and go to the gym... <laughs> You're doing about everything you can to curb that. So now we're talking about balding. Unlike weight gain, hair loss is something almost entirely outside of a man's control. This is the essence of what I'm trying to describe. Okay, then why are you comparing it to the fat gain? These two questions. One, would your current girlfriend or the girl you're seeing right now have started dating you in the first place if you had a dramatic change in your appearance? Two, how do you know if you do have a dramatic change in future, your girl won't be one of the shallow ones and leave you for it? I guess you don't know. That's kind of part of life you have to see. That's a risk you take when you enter a 
relationship that's exclusive. Now, I'm not saying every girl will be like this, but it's important to understand that a given percentage of girls will be. Okay, sure. You shouldn't become angry or paranoid. I believe the best thing you can do is accept this as a reality some guys will have to face. Anyway, those are my three examples with a bit of advice at the end. Okay, so he gave a lot of opinions there as if he's like in the mind of the woman herself. The whole weight gain thing, I don't understand what his point was. It's like, yeah, if you get fat, you're going to be viewed as less attractive. Like, yeah, obviously. And then my biggest issue was at the beginning, that whole cope of like, it's not an insecurity. This happened to me one time. He has one example of the first point he made. I don't know how many women this guy's been with, but it's probably only those two. Okay, before we wrap up, let's check one thing here. Because I notice a trend now among a lot of these, I guess, black pill guys is that they do face ratings. Let's see if he has a face rate. Oh, there we go. Rating out of 10, $5. Okay, well, I can't get mad at the price. That's... I'd say pretty reasonable. So baseline analysis is $5. You can also get a face analysis for 10 and looks maxing for another 10. Uh, let's see if he describes these in more detail. Okay, basic package, 100% honest rating. Guys, why do you care what another man rates your face? Are you trying to get with men? No virtue signaling to save feelings, 100% privacy, okay? Included with analysis package two, detailed face analysis using easy to understand mathemat- Oh, they're gonna do math on your face? Oh, come on, guys. List of the best and worst facial features. Is that not obvious? Strong jawline, good eyes, good hair, like, all flaws ordered most to least important. Oh my- This is just like natty or not in fitness, dude. This is complete mental masturbation. Oh, well, we're going to sit here and analyze and do all this stuff. It doesn't matter. Included with the looks maxing extra package. Personal looks maxing advice tailored to your circumstance. Hair... Guys, once again, what advice could you possibly give the average dude here? I mean, any dude. What? Get a good hairstyle if you can grow hair. If you're going bald, probably just shave it. Maybe get a hair transplant. If you guys are looking for some shampoo to regrow your lost hair... Check the description, I can give you 15% off a best-selling shampoo to regrow it. Shameless plug. Looks maxing divided into short, mid, long-term recommend- Oh my god, dude. Style maxing. So now these guys give fashion advice too. How each looks maxing will affect your chances. Guys, please understand this. If you're going, again, the price isn't that egregious, I can't get too angry at this, but if you're going to pay another man to do math on your face, to rate your face, walks up to some girl, hello lady, Waffles rated me a 5.75 out of 10, which is above average, so now we must talk. It's like, that doesn't mean anything, bro. The way women react to you and talk to you and treat you, that's ultimately what gauges how attractive they see you. Why are you guys going to pay these dudes, again, dudes, to rate your face. What does that tangibly improve? What other advice could you need besides go to the gym, maybe lose some body fat, shape your facial hair, improve your hairstyle, get better clothes? And even so, guys, you can still get women in shorts and flip-flops and a tank top if they view you as handsome. You see what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. A lot of mental jerking off going on here. So this has been the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Tell me what or who you'd like to see me react to next. Thank you, as always, to the Patreon supporters. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.